we have the MVB-3X. This barrier device prohibits ramming cars from entering restricted locations. The innovative system distributes the vehicle's momentum to the ground. It is the first tested and certified lightweight modular vehicle barrier capable of stopping heavy trucks weighing up to 7.5 tons. It is designed for usage on sandy, rocky, and rugged terrain, gravel, and asphalt, and is used by municipal, police, and event operators, as well as military and special forces. This is Cayman KMAX helicopter crane. Built to transport big loads comes next. Rotex Helicopter AG, an established European corporation, uses this helicopter for forestry activities, transporting building equipment and structures, and responding to emergencies. It is also one of the few helicopter models capable of carrying more cargo, 2,722 kilos than its own weight. 2,300 kilos. The helicopter's rare design with intermeshing rotors results in less downdraft. The MM Sherpa is up next. It is a versatile vehicle designed to transport timber or other items via cable yarder systems. It is available for two, three, or four cable systems, with pulling loads ranging from 1.5 to 4 tons. Using its remote control, the carriage may be positioned anywhere along the skyline. This function allows for the most efficient yet sensitive loading of timber on various carriage sites, including bringing the load to a line and a precise landing in the storage. All MM Sherpa models come with a mainline brake shelter as standard. Agro Melora Group is a world leader in the nursery industry. The company produces citrus with the best machines and specialists. One such machine is this harvester, which moves over the trees while shaking them to break off the fruit. While doing so, the basket catches the falling fruits. After harvesting, the trees are cut at a specific height so that the harvester can be reused for the next harvest. This method of harvesting is known as mechanical harvesting. Next, we have the Svenin. It's a 102-meter-long, 72-meter-wide crane ship now sailing under the Bahamas flag. It has a carrying capacity of 7,871 tons DWT and a current draft of 5 meters, which is the vertical distance between the waterline and the bottom of the hull. Currently, Van Oord, a Dutch business, is employing it to carry offshore wind turbines. In 2020, the business used the Svanen vessel to deliver and construct 87 foundations for the Walney. First up, we have the Delta Scientific DSC 550. It's an open frame barrier with a shallow 24 inches foundation that can resist harsh weather. This barrier is 16 feet long with a penetration depth of 1.1 feet. It is suitable for applications that involve buried pipelines, subterranean utilities, and other types of obstructions. The open frame structure provides a unique counterbalance design without the need of springs or other mechanical aids that require extra maintenance. Additionally, the shallow base reduces installation complexity time, materials, and associated costs. The Grappler Police Bumper comes up next. This system is made up of a net of straps and a steel bumper. It is installed in front of the vehicle and can be controlled totally from the driver's seat. The grapplers allow police officers to stop a moving vehicle. When triggered, the net wraps around the tire, acting as a lasso. The creator of this technology was inspired by a police chase.
Now, let's take a look at the TerraBlock RAB by HESCO. This advanced arm barrier has the impressive capability to swiftly stop a heavy truck weighing 6,800 kilograms, even when it's moving at a speed of 40 miles per hour within a mere five meters. It takes less than six hours to install. It can also be easily connected to existing perimeter protection systems on site, allowing for restricted access and mitigating any illegal usage. The design of this product enables precise lifting on vulnerable surfaces, while its construction ensures the locking mechanism remains secure from any attempts of sabotage. The energy transfer system is constructed using top-notch flat bar steel. The bars are fed through the diaphragms of the HESCO mill units, and the energy is transferred along the bar upon collision to hinder attackers from gaining momentum. Next up is the Tree Harvester 26. This machinery was manufactured by the Kirk Company, a well-known Christmas tree manufacturer. After all, it's utilized for harvesting Christmas trees. Now that we've established the Tree Harvester half of the name, the 26 refers to the 26 inches carbide tip blade, which provides a working width of nine inches. A Honda GVX 390 engine with 13 horsepower and 17.8 pound-feet of peak torque has been installed. The volume capacity of its gasoline tank is 2.2 quarts, or 2 liters. Next, we have the Timber Pro TL 745D. This feller buncher measures 16 feet, 5 inches long, 11 inches broad, and 12 feet 10 inches high with a 30 inches ground clearance. The boom of this machine measures 23 feet 9 inches. It has a new bigger cab with better visibility than its predecessor. Like other modern machines, it includes a digital climate control system that keeps the cab temperature stable and comfortable. This equipment is powered by Cummins' 338 horsepower fuel efficient engine, which produces 1,126 foot pounds of peak torque. High output LEDs are used throughout the machine, including under the cab, to illuminate the work area and tracks during night shifts. Next, we have the High Vision, the newly developed technology which uses spectacles, sensors, and cameras is intended for crane operators. It offers a 270-degree horizontal and 130-degree vertical view of the crane in real time. Furthermore, its 3D technology evaluates external working conditions, recognizes things, and aids the operator. Each armrest of the truck's passenger seat has an electronic joystick mounted to it. During operation, signals from the joysticks are sent through the high vision control system, which controls the crane's hydraulic valve and a number of key safety features. As a result, operators can do more work in less time. Next, we have the ProSpike Police Stinger. It is a unique software engineered vehicle stop system composed of 125 stainless steel hollow spikes connected to aluminum scissors through a rubber cup. When a vehicle drives over the bars, the spikes come out of the cups and puncture the tires. The spikes penetrate the tires, causing them to deflate. Most tires fall flat within 200 meters, depending on the vehicle type and speed. It is used for controlling traffic, border patrol, roadblocks, and catching fleeing offenders. It can also be charged using an automotive battery. Next, we have the Bridgeway Pro Barriers. These barriers are constructed from coated welded mesh and lined with a high-quality UV-resistant non-woven geotextile fabric. Pockets in this system are filled with locally available sand and aggregate. Units are prepared to face final, ballistic, and hostile vehicle assaults. These come in a variety of sizes and widths, and they may be deployed quickly.
Next, we have the Komatsu MC-51. It is a rock cutting machine developed for underground hard rock mining. It chops through the rock with its cutter head and is controlled by a convenient remote controller. The cutter head is positioned on a five axis robotic boom, which can be adjusted to any angle within a five by five tunnel. The Komatsu MC-51's Dynacut technology allows it to chop the rock into small pieces without overbreak. It can excavate 500 meters each month, which is twice as much as traditional drilling and blasting methods. It took 10 years to create this machine. Next up is Procentrum's Anti-Terror Flower Pot. It was created by a Belgian concrete company to stop hostile objects while incurring minimal collateral damage. The units are available in over 60 different colors and can be personalized with the customer's branding. The anti-graffiti coating on the concrete ensures that the anti-terror pots maintain their aesthetic appeal at all times. Multiple anti-terror flower pots can be readily joined to create an almost impenetrable barrier. Individual parts can be easily moved or stored using a forklift truck for semi-permanent use. A complete barrier can usually be set up in 30 to 45 minutes. Up next, we have the Net Barrier 1. This barrier system is installed in a lane. The 80-foot retractable net unfolds in two seconds from under the pavement. It can stop a 15,000 pound car traveling at 50 miles per hour with little danger, allowing for less than legal arrest. The barrier is bi-directional, which means it can be used in both directions. It also includes a control, alarm, camera, and UPS system, which are fully customizable. 